Hi, I'm Roger Grimes. I'm the Data-Driven Defense Evangelist for Know Before, and I want to invite you to my upcoming webinar entitled The Five Things You Should Know About Ransomware Before It's Too Late. It's a collection of the five most popular questions that I get from people all the time. Uh, we're going to cover such topics such as what's the root causes of ransomware? How does ransomware break in? If you don't understand how ransomware breaks in, you're more likely to fall victim to it. So we're going to talk about how it breaks in and how you can prevent it. We're going to talk about the ransomware gang. Some people think to the ransomware gangs, uh, you know, or some lone guy sitting in his basement drinking Jolt Cola. Other people think that it's this professional, professionally run corporate organization. And the answer is it's all of the above. So we're going to talk about the different types of ransomware gangs. Out of the, I think there's 100 to 120 of them these days that the uh, US FBI is following. We're going to talk about whether or not it's legal to even pay the ransom. Believe it or not, there are instances in the United States where you could be legally in trouble or at risk for paying a ransomware extortion payment. And it turns out that many of the previous ransomware people and gangs are actually on the do not pay list. And if you uh, facilitate a payment, even if you're not the person making the payment, if you're involved with facilitating the payment to a ransomware gang that's on the do not pay list, you can actually be at legal risk. So we're going to talk about that and how you can avoid having legal risk. We're going to talk about how you can best prevent your data from being exfiltrated. 85 to 90% of uh, all ransomware today exfiltrates your data and logging credentials. And we're going to talk about how you can try to mitigate that or even prevent it. And lastly, we'll talk about whether or not you should have cybersecurity insurance. Uh, and you should, I'll give you the quick answer there, but what you should look forward in a cybersecurity insurance policy, what are the types of questions they're going to ask, and um, you know, overall, what to watch out for. That's the most important thing. So we're going to answer all of these questions and more about ransomware, how you can prepare for ransomware, and I look forward to seeing you there.